We so are. Really Just close. go right ahead. <laughs> um, my question is about addiction and kind of how that works and if it is how come some people have it and others don't and if is it the same with substances is alcohol drugs food shopping relationships all intertwined and used the same way well consider that law of attraction is at the heart of everything start there and then think about activation of something and how much easier it is to continue something that is activated than to get it activated to begin with. That's the sort of basis that we want you to start with. What type of addiction would you like to discuss first? Um, well, I've had experience with a lot of them. So um, I've had certain ones where <clears throat> um, I've gotten over them and it took a really extreme contrast on one occasion and I was able to have the desire to change my life and not look back for many years and then I've had other addictions that keep coming up over and over and over and I feel really good but then something happens and I'm back in the cycle of it. Well let's start with the physiological part of the addiction because what happens when you introduce something to your body that your body is not at a cellular level requesting. In other words, it's something that you are doing. Oh, there are so many places that we can begin this. Often, someone will reach for something to make them feel better in order to compensate for some emotional imbalance that they have going. And it doesn't matter the reason for it. Let's just say that for whatever reason, maybe a friend encouraged you, maybe everybody was doing it, maybe you were trying to fill a void of your own with it. But rather than talking about the emotional reasons for it at first, let's just talk about getting the stuff into your body. So you've introduced something to your body. Maybe it's a cigarette, maybe it's caffeine, maybe it's alcohol or drugs. So you introduce it to your body, and at first your body does not know what to do with it, or it seems. In other words, it's a shock to your system always in the beginning because you're introducing something that the cells of your body are not accustomed to. Now, your body is like a chemical factory. The resiliency of your body is amazing. And it is, for a large part, because of the enormous number of cellular entities that make up your body. So you have a huge facility to adjust and adapt, much more so than any of you realize. Your body is changing tremendously, much more than you realize when you are looking at it from the outside perspective. So you introduce this substance to your body, and your body receives it, and immediately your body, or the cells of your body, do what they always do. They begin to find their balance instantaneously. In other words, they work to come into alignment given this new set of cellular circumstances. In other words, they're dealing with the contrast just like we're encouraging you to deal with the contrast. So what happens is the cells adjust to this new substance. They compensate for this introduction of this new substance into your system. And in their compensation or in their adjustment, your body begins to regulate now to the new adjustments that they have made in order to compensate. And then those compensations or adjustments translate to you as a craving. In other words, that really is what is at the heart of everything that you would call physical addiction. Now, we want to say to you that if you were understanding that your cellular body is just adjusting to all of this, if you could restrain yourself from reintroducing the substance for a period for as short as three days, all of this would work its way through your body and that craving or what you're calling addiction would subside. Now, that's just talking about the physiological part of it. It's not talking about the energy imbalance or the degree of resistance that had you enough out of whack that in some cases you were trying to utilize something in order to make yourself feel better emotionally. 
but leaving the emotions out of it and just talking about it in terms of your body, anything that you do not introduce to your body within three days will have worked itself through your system enough that those cravings will have substantially subsided. We encourage you not to be too worried about any addiction and instead talk to yourself about making peace with where you are. And as with all things, we're encouraging that you little by little, thought by thought, emotion by emotion, get to the bottom of what is really the reason for all of that, you see. There are so many people who are beating up on themselves so vociferously over addictions. And if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would lighten up about it. Of course, you know what we are teaching. We want you to get happy and stay there. And then anything like that would be a side issue. But mm -hmm. something more? Um, I think that answers my question. I guess I just... Um When people well, let's, let us get right to the heart of the reason that so many are reaching for something else. Because the thing that we really want you to remember is that you are source energy who have come forth into these physical bodies. And so you know at many levels of your being that you are supposed to feel good. You know that you are worthy from that non-physical perspective. And you know that you have value. And you know that you've come here in order to expand. You know that you're a creator. You don't feel unworthy. You don't feel incapable. You don't feel unloved. You, you know who you are. And so sometimes as you are moving around in your circumstances, things happen that cause you to not remember all of those things. And so you sort of freak out at many levels of your being. You know that you're supposed to feel good, but you don't know how to get back to that place of feeling good. And we believe that it is that inner awareness that you're supposed to feel good and that you're supposed to be highly regarded and that you're supposed to feel good about others and that others are supposed to feel good about you that really is at the root of trying to find something to suppress your conscious awareness that things sometimes are not that way. And so that's why we say that the heart of the addiction is a vibrational imbalance. And then the vibrational imbalance then leads to introducing something to your body that then causes a physiological imbalance. But we do not know very many people who are able to comfortably release addictions once they've got started unless they are able to get to the heart of the energy imbalance and bring themselves back into alignment with loving self, you see. Mm -hmm. And that's why so many people just move from one addiction to another, to another, to another. They're trying to fill a void, but it's a void that can only be filled through the connection to that source energy. And at some levels, you keep feeling that hunger for something and keep trying to find something to satisfy that hunger. But the only thing that ever really satisfies it is vibrational connection or allowance of the energy that is really you. It's life you're craving, you see. It's being tuned into the energy stream. It's being out here on the leading edge and feeling the fullness of who you are flowing through you. That's what you're craving. And anything else is just a sort of temporary fix. Mm -hmm. But if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would stop right now all of this pushing against the idea of addictions. Your bodies are much more capable of coping and much more resilient than you know. And so what happens now, people who are out of balance because they haven't yet remembered about vibration and they're not paying attention to their emotions, so they're not gently or even in a strong way bringing themselves back into vibrational alignment with source. And yet at an unconscious level, at that level of craving of knowing that it is supposed to be better, then they reach for something to make them feel better. And they often find something that does soothe that discomfort. But then those around them, even your societies now, are pushing so hard against that that it just exacerbates the disconnection that they were feeling, which was the reason that they began that to begin with. So most of the programs that are being offered are not very effective because they want to beat you up and punish you for your bad behavior. They want to scold you into your alignment as if that could happen, you see. And we know we've never seen anyone get reprimanded or scolded back into alignment. You get loved back into alignment. You get understood back into alignment, you see. So the war against drugs is failing dramatically because at the basis of the war is an attempt to try to get you to alter your behavior with no regard to your vibration. And when there's just not enough action in the world to compensate for that energy stream, you see. Yes. Very helpful. That answers it. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, indeed.
Yes, indeed.